Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen and viewers of Cyber News Television. This is your program, The Experts. But before we commence, I would like to apologize for the late start. Today, we are talking on the role of a marketer in a community. Many people are involved in business. They don't know the importance or the role played by marketers in our community. They go about deceiving themselves or doing one or two wrong things, yet their businesses stand still. This afternoon, we are having a specialist, an expert, a sales manager with a gas company, Mr. Peter Doom. He's a corporate salesperson. He will be the one to tell us more about the role a marketer plays in our community. Little wonder, people search for marketers, but they don't really know if a marketer ought to go to a particular school to become one. Peter and Dom is going to answer all these questions for us. Good afternoon, Mr. Peter and Dom. Thank you, Mr. Bison. And how was your day? I had a great day. Thank you for inviting me here. And I hope that uh, as we'll be deliberating, we'll be able to clarify our viewers of Seven News and the expert on some of the burning issues surrounding who a marketer is and some of the marketing strategies that marketers use on the market scene. Good. We are talking about the role of a marketer in a community today. Before we get into details, who is Mr. Peter Ndo? Thank you very much. Uh, Ndum Peter is my name. Yeah. I work with Kosan Chris Plant Cameroon SA. Kosan Chris Plant is the company that is responsible for packaging and distribution of uh, local gas okay. with the yellow gas cylinders and the regulator. Okay. So that is Ndum Peter. I'm the corporate sales manager uh, for Yaoundé, lead uh, center region. We are talking about marketing. Who is a marketer? Uh, a marketer is someone or an organization because there are organizations that are involved or play the role of marketing. marketing. So a marketer is an organization or somebody who gets a commodity, improves the brand of that commodity in the eyes of consumers, put it in the market for it to be sold. Strictly put, that is who a marketer is. So you said collo collect a commodity. Yes. Improve the brand. Improve the brand in the and eyes of the those eyes who of are people to consume it. And sell it. And sell it. So, let me ask you this, Mr. Peter Ndum. These are all mothers on the streets. Are they marketers? Uh, yes, we, we would say that they are into marketing because they, they have one or two things to sell out there. Yeah. They have their vegetables, they have their kukuyams to sell out there in the market. Okay. And... Uh, the way you expose yourself, the way you position yourself in order to sell, that's what makes a difference now in your skills to be able to market. Now, if, if you have something to sell and you are hiding it, people will not be aware and they will not be able to buy it. And the end result is that you will not be able to sell. So that doesn't make you a marketer. But yes, you talked of improving the brand. Yes. These are our local mothers go to the rural community, buy goods and bring them to the market and sell. How are they improving the brand of the goods? Okay, now, for example, if we are in a rural setup, Good. somebody who goes to the farm, harvests vegetables. Mm -hmm. Now, you see, if you go to the market, you see that some people package the way they do the packaging. Some people tie it neatly yeah. and then put it on a neat table. Yeah, yeah. That is how a marketer should be able to present. But if... You, you, you harvest vegetables, come to the market, and you keep it where there is mud, where there are flies. Somebody who wants vegetable comes there will not be interested in getting vegetables from you because you have not done packaging. That is why, as we'll be seeing uh, the definitions of marketing in the course of this program, you will see that marketing means different things to different people and it's, it's very controversial the way you look at marketing. Somebody may say that uh, if you are going to the market, Whatever you are doing in the marketplace is marketing to improve your brand to sell it. Mm. But another person may say that following a competitor is marketing. Another one may say that for you not doing what a competitor is doing mm. is still marketing. marketing. So they, they, they are diverse in opinions, but they are saying the same thing. So, Mr. Andom Peter, what is or what in fact is marketing? Okay. How can you tell our viewers? Now, I said it's that marketing. marketing means different things to different people yeah. and it's controversial. 
because some people think that when you go into the market setup, of course, there are competitors in the market. When you are alone in the market, it doesn't give you the ability to compete. Yeah. Now, when you go into a market where there are competitors or people doing the same thing or selling the same thing like yourself, you must be able to strategize. That is what marketing is. But the American Marketing uh, Association, there's an, there's an association in America that sanctions uh, our marketing thoughts, the way we think in marketing. It validates and says that, okay, this what you have said is a school of thought is correct defines marketing as the performance of business activities that directs the flow of goods and services from producers to consumers. Okay. Now, the entire process of uh, 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 directing business activities, and uh, the, when I'm talking business activities, I'm talking about uh, products and yeah. services, goods and services. That process of directing products, goods and services from the, the manufacturers to those who are going to consume it at the end of the day, all of that process is known as marketing. marketing. Yeah, because the commodity must get to the end user. Yeah, that's if true. the commodity does not get to the end user, you have not marketed. Yeah. Yes, you have not marketed. And it also ends by saying, uh, we are saying here that if those who are to consume your commodity, they are inside the same country with you. Mm -hmm. They are domestic consumers. You are doing, you are involved in domestic marketing. Yeah. But if those people are abroad, yeah. you it means that you too, you are going international. And so, Another definition for marketing, when you are marketing on the international scene, and according to the American Marketing Association, is that it is a multinational process. Marketing is a multinational process of planning, executing the conception, mm -hmm. the pricing, the promotion of ideas, because we don't only market goods and services. There's a mistake people make. Yeah, that's we don't true. only market goods and services tangible goods and services. These days, we market the image of people. people. We market states, yeah. governments. We market ideas. And uh, I want to include that we market intellectual property. Yeah. Now, if you come up with an idea, say, for example, this, this, this is modern times, and you develop an app yeah. uh, 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 for ICT that is able to perform something like I had sometimes a young man develop an app that you can install in your phone and then from wherever you are, you can switch off lights from your home or you can close your car from yeah. that app. The other day I was sitting with somebody and we were in, in an air conditioned room and he told me that from his phone, he can put up an app that can switch off the air conditioner. Mm -hmm. I told him no and we switched on his phone and he was able to do that. Now people who come up with such intellectual property, they are also able to market it. They That's are also true. able to sell it, not only goods and services. We also sell political manifestos. Now, we just came out from for presidential elections. Mm. Now, all those presidential candidates, they have political manifestos that they came up with during the elections. Yeah. They are also on the marketplace. When they go campaigning, what do you think campaigning is? <laughs> campaign, the campaigns that we have uh, for presidential candidates is a form of marketing. Yeah. That's why in international relations, uh, we say by a certain uh, 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 certified marketer said that he's known as Olivinari, that commerce has always been at the forefront of international relations and diplomacy in particular because to to be able to relate with one state interstate relations the aim of cameroon relating with america through agoa the aim of cameroon relating with the european union to through the economic partnership agreement yeah. the bottom line is to strengthen relations through the market yeah. strictly put so american marketing association has given those definitions for marketing but there's another definition by Nils Bodin, who says that it is getting the right goods and services. Yeah. Marketing is getting the right goods and services to the target market or target population at a particular time, at a particular price. That's the definition by marketing. Okay, you've talked about effective yeah. marketing. That sounds very interesting. Yes. Mr. Dumpeter, what happens to a marketer who doesn't respect the rules of demand, the principles of demand and supply. Okay. You see that the principles of demand and supply, and supply as, as you a, put it. As a marketer. Yeah. Demand and supply, we call them market forces. Yeah. They are market forces. And they are forces that are not determined by an individual. They are forces that collectively control the way people will reason or act on the market scene. Okay. The forces of demand and supply. That's what we call them 
uh, they are economic forces, yeah, economic forces of demand and supply. Now, a marketer must be able to look at demand yeah. before going to manufacture. Yeah. You know, we have come above that era where people used to manufacture and then come to the market to, the market. to force people to, to buy. buy. Now, people are manufacturing or producing goods and services looking at demand. I mean, it, it is what now we call customization of marketing. We customize. Yeah. Just like if you have your app, your Android phone. You, you look at, they, they, you go to, you, you, you tap on it, you click. They, say, they can ask you customize. You can, you can customize even your phone not to give you so much light into your eye. Yeah. You can customize your phone to alarm at a certain time. You can customize. That market customization, that is what we are doing now. So every marketer must be able to customize the market looking at the forces of demand and supply. Uh, I, was, I was going to come back to, after having given all the, the definitions of marketing by the American Marketing Association, somebody who is following this program now, uh, who probably has not been to school, may be saying that we are talking a lot of grammar. <laughs> but I, I, I like us to reason this out because marketing to a common man on the street is everything that the person does to meet his needs yeah. profitably. Okay. That is to say that whatever you do to be able to get what you are looking for profitably, that is to say without losing on the other hand, because you may get one thing here and then you are losing much more on the, the other, other side. side. It cannot be effective marketing. Mm -hmm. But the process of you uh, getting or meeting your needs while making profits profitably or sustainably, that is to be sustainable is to, to, to benefit now. Yeah without jeopardizing the future. the future. That is what effective marketing is all about. Meeting the, your needs profitably. You are talking of effective marketing and the way you sound, it seems as if marketing has its strategy. Yes. So, what are the strategies of marketing? Uh, first of all, I'd like us to, to know what a strategy is. Yeah, so it's a strategy. The word strategy is coming from a French military barrack that's where the word strategy first came about strategy was a word that was used in a military barrack okay. where the military used to uh, uh, come up with an approach to target their enemies mm -hmm. so that is where the word strategy came about and you see that marketing has inculcated has embraced that word strategy mm -hmm. and in terms of marketing a strategy is a unified, integrated, and comprehensive approach that is used by companies or firms to get their products and services in the market. That is what a strategy is. Unified, integrated, and comprehensive. That is to say that uh, a, a, the strategy you are using to, to take a particular commodity to the market is not the same strategy you will use to take another commodity to the market. That brings us to what is known as market segmentation, where a company not wanting to compete everywhere, or a businessman, somebody who is in business, maybe a production company or a service company, you, you, you possibly cannot compete everywhere. Now, because you cannot compete everywhere, especially at the same time, yeah. what you do is you segment your market. You do is select a portion of your target market. That is what is known as market segmentation. So uh, there is something also we call um, a marketing strategy, which is the forging of assets and skills into sustainable competitive advantage. Uh, there's, there's a lot of grammar into that, but these are simple uh, 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 ideologies that we are putting forth. When you, you have assets, as a businessman, every business has assets, yeah. and then you have skills. skills. Those skills are those, your, your personnel, they have skills. Yeah. Now, when you put their skills together, and then you, 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 you approach a, a target market, you forge your assets, you put them together to attain an objective, that is what is a marketing strategy that we are looking about. Yeah. You talked of unified, integrated, compromised, and so among the three, to Mr. Peter and Doom, which is the most qualified term to be used as a marketer. Uh, as a marketer, <laughs> I, I would say that uh, marketing like that is 
is, is a kind of global phenomenon. Like I said, that it means many different things to many different, different people. people. And <clears throat> at all points in time, whatever people are saying is correct. Now, there is what we know as a marketing mix. Yeah. A marketing mix. Every marketer, whether the grandmother who is selling vegetable in oh, Akasia market or somebody selling plantain in the market in Tole, somebody selling in Douala, everybody is in the market. Now, there is something known as a marketing mix. Now, the, the, the ability for you to position yourself where you can sell, because you can't bring a commodity to just anywhere. But when you know that people are passing on this spot, people close from work and they are passing around Point Express. Now, if I stand there with a basin of tomatoes, the working class, they will easily see me and they will buy my tomatoes. Mm -hmm. That is, you are using a mix. And that mix is a positioning. Now, the definition for a mix uh, or what is known as a marketing mix, according to the reporting, is a combination of marketing tools. There are marketing tools. When you combine those marketing tools into sustainable advantage, that gives you an upper hand in the marketplace, you are using your mix. And the marketing tools that we combine are the, the four, there's what we know as the four Ps in marketing, which are commonly known as the four gospels of marketing. You know, even, even in the Bible, we have the, 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 the four gospels, the synoptic gospels, yeah. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Now, marketers have also designed uh, uh, four gospels according to marketers four gospels of marketing now which means that if you are reading matthew mark luke and john you will have in totality the story concerning jesus. the life of jesus christ yeah. so marketers have also had four gospels the product the price for peace product price place and promotion yeah. now in in those four terminologies that i've cited everything about marketing revolves around them so so as a marketer yes you talk of the product the price, the price, the place, the place and, and the promotion. promotion. Those are the marketing tools. And the way you play about those things, now if you look at your price, yeah. how, how do you play uh, or how does your price, or when you promote a commodity, what happens to your price? Like yeah. you were talking about the forces of demand, demand and supply, supply, which are the market forces. Yeah. Now, your, the price of your commodity will determine demand. The higher your price, the lower, the lower your demand. demand. Although, Although there are situations where the higher your price, the higher your demand, especially for goods of ostentation. You know, there are some people by their class, class and status. That's true. When, when you brand or, or tack a commodity with a low price, no, they don't people, go for it. people instead don't come for it because they, for it. they start having a notion that the price uh, or the quality is low because quality. of the price. Mm -hmm. So a marketing mix, a, the combination of these uh, four gospels of marketing, product, price, place, and promotion, Especially for companies that are into production. production. Let, let's say, for example, the Cameroon Development Corporation, the CDC, which is into effective production. Let's take Cozen Chris Plan Cameroon, which is producing Glocal gas, and then uh, other companies without publicity, which are into production. Now, now they, they play with their price, the, 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 the product, and the, 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 those four gospels of, uh, that I cited, the place where you are selling is important. <coughs> now, I wanted to add that in the study of marketing, there are three other P's that have been added okay. to these four Gospels. Because uh, over the years, marketers like Philip Kotler, Neil Borden, Jerome McCarthy, they, they, got, they got to a point where they realized that these four wow. Gospels are not enough. So they have to add more. These four Gospels were not enough. And so they added three others. Which are? To make seven, seven P's of marketing, which are the process management, the physical environment and the personnel. Now let's take. Uh, and the you are talking about the personnel. Yes. That is where my interest is. Good. As a marketer, what or how do you manage a personnel? Good. Now you see that after the four gospels of marketing were brought by, uh, uh, were popularized in 1964 by Jerome McCarthy, you realize that they, they, they got to a point and saw that. The four gospels were not enough. Mm -hmm. Now they had to add three others because they realized marketing in the in the in the former days used to concentrate a lot on selling commodities, commodities. tangible commodities that you can touch and feel. But 
knowledge expounded mm -hmm. and they came to realize that we do not only market commodities we now market the image of somebody like Samir Tofis, he has a manager. Those international actors, like actors in international relations, individuals, NGOs, United Nations, they have marketers. The World Bank, the IMF, they have marketers who market their ideologies, who put across their, 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 the aim of their existence, their existence to, the, to yeah. other people. Because if you just have an organization and there's nobody to take it out there, you are not in the market. It will be difficult for people to buy your ideas. But now, when they came to realize that they needed people who can manage or market service industries, for example, banks. Yeah. Banks do not produce anything that you can touch. This is something <coughs> I'm touching. Yeah. What banks, the services banks are, 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 are giving out cannot be felt, they cannot be touched. Now you see that you were talking about personnel. Now the banks are now interested in seeing that the personnel that they recruit, yeah. the personnel should be those who are able to love the customers as they come to, the, to their counters. Customer, Customer service. Services. Customer service is very important. Mm. It's very important for service industries, insurance, banks, transport companies. The way somebody comes to, to use your service, the way you welcome the person, the greeting, the salutation, the way you talk to the person, your composure as a personnel is very important. Now, the fiscal environment. Now, have you realized that when you get into banks, it's as clean as, or even cleaner than hospitals? That's true. Why do you think banks are making their environment clean? Because where people bank their money should be well presentable, presentable. or should be very presentable. That is where people bank their money. Because there's, there's, there's an idea or there's a book uh, titled uh, Managing Banks by a certain lecturer in the University of Boya. He says in his book he's writing that Aaron Denka, I should be able to mention, Aaron Denka in his book titled Managing Banks, he's saying that when you get into a bank, the way a banker is, is dressed speaks volumes to you. That's true. Now, for you, Mr. Takan, if you get into a bank today and you find the cashier looking very tattered, wearing torn dresses, dirty dresses, Will you be and you have 20, 20 million francs in your pocket to put in that bank? No, he would, that person will take my money away. You will not be able to save because <laughs> no, the first thing that will come to your mind is that this person is going to get my money, my money. to buy clothes. Yeah. Now, true. when I was working with the Toiletty Cooperative Credit Union in Boya without publicity, we had a dressing code. Yeah. When you come in the morning, there's a dressing code for Monday. Some some microfinancial institutions yeah, they, are they practicing do have, that. They do have that. that when you come on Monday, this is how you dress. On Tuesday, this is how you dress. On Friday, this is how you this dress. How you dress yeah. Those are marketing strategies. They, they, that's why I said that the personnel is very important. Okay. The fiscal Mr. environment Mr. Du, Mr. and du. the process management. Yeah, thanks very much. Uh, yeah. I would like us to follow a report. Okay. Viewer of Seven News Television, you've heard about the role of a marketer in a community. We are going to have this report by Briz Gosok, the quest to improve cocoa in order to produce um, uh, chocolates in Cameroon. Breeze goes up. Visite de marque au milieu de cette vaste verdure de la petite localité d'Akomiada, à une cinquantaine de kilomètres de Yaoundé, dans le département du nyon région du centre, où les membres de la Confédération des chocolatiers et confesseurs de France ont fait le déplacement des hectares de verger mis en œuvre par les planteurs du village à travers l'initiative New Generation impulsée par le Conseil interprofessionnel du cacao et du café CICC, présent lors de cette descente de terrain des chocolatiers et amateurs de chocolat, ambassadeurs d'un cacao équitable et surtout excellent. Là où nous sommes là, vous-même vous voyez comment ça produit. Et je suis trop fière, je, re je remercie grandiosement le CICC qui m'a soutenu, qui m'a fait devenir une grande femme parce que quand je vois déjà comment mon cacao. Une prise de contact dans ce bassin de production d'une soixantaine de cacaoculteurs regroupés au sein d'une coopérative New Generation pour une superficie cultivée d'environ 150 hectares avec un rendement de 5 tonnes lors de la campagne 2017-2018, des chiffres 
assez visible dans ces champs et bien plus sur le visage de ces jeunes cacaoculteurs. En train de récolter le cacao, on coupe les cabos qui sont mûrs. Et pour décabosser, on choisit, on les décabose pas avec la machette. C'est on s'appuie qu'on décabose avec un goudin. Avec un goudin, pourquoi Quand on, on décabose avec le goudin, ça ne, ça ne touche pas les fèves. Mais avec la machette, ça, ça blesse les fèves. On, nous sommes obligés de ne pas prendre les fèves qui sont blessées. Oui. Une dynamique de développement mise en œuvre par les équipes du CICC qui n'ont de cesse fait de cette denrée de rente un fleuron de la croissance du Cameroun. Thanks very much, Brice Gazok, for that excellent report on how to improve the cocoa siblings in the country for us to have a good chocolate. Viewers of Seven News Television, if you're just tuning in your television set or switching on your set, this is your program, The Experts. Today, we are talking on the role of a marketer in a community. With us this day is the sales manager of Gloka Gas, Mr. Peter Ntom, who has been telling us more about marketing, effective marketing strategies, and who is a marketer. At this point in time, He's going to tell us more about marketing strategies or marketing itself. Mr. Ndum Peter, that report we just followed is talking about cocoa, on how to improve the cocoa settings or the seeds for better chocolate in the community. You as a marketer, if you're giving the cocoa company to market, what will you do? <laughs> uh, it's, it's it's a question that is uh, a, a little shrouded. But you see that uh, cocoa is a raw material. That's why I began by telling you that- I said a chocolate company. Good. <laughs> now, a chocolate, a chocolate company, yeah. to, to, to have chocolate, it comes from a raw material, yeah. cocoa. cocoa. Now, I began by telling you that the, 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 the process of directing goods and services from mm. manufacturers to end users, users. All of in between there, whatever activity that is in between, transportation, logistics, and all of that yeah. is what is known as marketing. marketing. Now, for a, a chocolate company to, to succeed in an environment like us, like Cameroon, you will see that there is, there is the need for it to secure its source of raw material. Okay. There, is, there is the need for it to secure its source of raw material because without that raw material, there is just no way we'll be able to have cocoa. Now, can you use groundnuts to bring chocolate? You cannot use maize to bring chocolate. You cannot use plantains to bring chocolate. Only cocoa. Yeah. So you see that there is the need for a, a chocolate company or chocolate company manager to, to, to secure that source of raw material jealously. How? You have to create a link with the farmers themselves. You have to put uh, agents on the market. Who, who go buying. I even know of uh, chocolate or, or, or companies that go as far as granting petty loans, micro loans yeah. to those farmers to keep those cocoa farms up and alive. Now, when we are sure that we have the raw material, which is uh, 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 the cocoa seedlings, the cocoa beans, transportation to the factory now is not much of a problem. And then when you structure or put a well-structured uh, uh, production a, a manager in place I in your see. company. Mm -hmm. The production manager takes it from the point where the raw materials arrive the factory, like in our company, Cousin Chris Plant, uh, Gas. when we have bulk gas that comes, for example, from Sonara or from SADP, we have the universal, uh, universal filling equipment where we fill in our factory, bottle, and then send out. We have a well-structured line that takes into account that. Now, for a chocolate factory manager, that uh, we were looking at that report from the, the cocoa beans yeah the, the the production manager picks up the raw material programs the different staffs in their positions so that those for the transformation because there are phases of transformation there are those that uh, uh, send it into the mill there are those that uh, those in the chemical uh, department they test the, the the cocoa and make sure that when it, it comes or is it the powder gets to the taste yeah. that they are looking for they can now continue to the other department for packaging. Now, when they package from the factory, they are now able to send it out to the commercial department. You see that it's a whole chain, 
So you see, there, there is what you call um, a supply chain yeah, also supply chain, yeah, that it picks it up from there to the end users. That is how uh, 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 a production company and such production companies, you were talking about strategy, they go mostly with the four P's, the four gospels of marketing. They look at the product. How is the chocolate? I was, I was also going to come to tell you, Mr. Taka and our viewers of Seven News Television, as we are examining the, the, the contemporary uh, uh, issues on marketing today, marketing to say that. Way, yeah? In the four gospels of marketing, every other company, whether it's a cocoa company, it's a gas company like Coastal Chris Plant, or whatever company, they are making use of the four gospels of marketing. And alongside the four gospels, which I said are the four P's of marketing, product, price, place, promotion, we have the four A's and the four C's that go alongside. Now, there's a kind of chemistry. There's a kind of chemistry that companies play with the four P's, the four A's, and the four C's. C's yeah. Now, uh, uh, while I was teaching economics, uh, I got to realize that there is a topic in economics, advanced level economics, known as production possibility frontier. A production possibility frontier is, is, is a kind of assumption that economists came up with to see how uh, those who are into production, for example, that President Chris Plant, what we do is, how does a production manager line up his factors of production against the resources that are available? available. Now, there's even a graph that is being plotted in advanced level G uh, economics. There's a the x-axis and the y-axis where a curve is plotted. Yeah. How much of, uh, of, of capital do you want to merge with labor? labor. That's so true. that is where the production possibility frontier comes in. And it's the same thing in marketing. After the four P's, we have the four A's and the four C's. Now, if you take out a P like the product, yeah. marketers will ask the question, is this product accessible? Can, yeah. can it, it, where I have located myself, is it accessible for a consumer? Consumer, that's true. Can the consumer assess the product, look at the A, the C, C and, and the P. P coming in there? That is the marketing, marketing mix. We are playing yeah. around the marketing mix. Now, look at the price. Is this price affordable? affordable. What is the cost of this commodity? Look at the cost, affordability, and the product, product. or the price. You look at that. If you take something like the place where you are selling, are people aware that what you are selling is in this place? Yeah, after talking about all the P's, all the A's, and all the C's, we yes. have mentioned over seven P's, three yes. A's, and three C's. Four, four A's, four, four A's, C's. Four C's. Yes. Four plus four is eight, and eight. three plus seven plus four, four is seven. Is seven. That is over 15. Yeah, they, those, okay. you got it right. They, yeah. Those are the <laughs> marketing tools, sir. Those are the marketing tools. And I told you, remember, that <laughs> even somebody who is selling vegetable is in the market. You are playing. How do you expect our borders to, to be maintaining such no. 15, 15, 15, 15 I, uh, I told you tools. That, <laughs> I told you that those are tools that scholars like Jerome McCarthy, it's good you said they, scholars. They, they came up with. And for it to be a school of thought, it means that whatever the situation, whatever the situation you are into, whatever marketing setup you are into, you are making use of those marketing mix without knowing. Have you realized that most people who wrote this book, theoretically, they don't even know the practical part of marketing? Before these <laughs> things were written down, marketers carried out what is known as a market research okay. of market intelligence. Right. And these are schools of thought. What I'm telling you, we have been put down by professors, marketing professors, Mr. Peter, more than Joe, 50 Mr. years, Peter, 100 years Peter, ago. Joe, you can be a professor <laughs> to write books, but practically you can't do it well. You know that. Now, let me, let me tell you why I'm saying that all this marketing mix, even somebody who's selling vegetable in Tole yeah. or in Akasia or in the BMRC is making use of these things. All now, right. if you get your vegetable, who tells you the price that you are going to sell? I don't know. When you come to the market, you can look around. You look at competitors. Yeah. What are they doing? The other people selling vegetable, what are they doing? Like in the market for domestic gas, the, the, the prices are homologated by the government. So you see that the competition in, in the market for domestic gas uh, 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 is at the level of the branding. But the prices have been made uh, 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 fixed, fixed by the government. government. That's why you see that Coast and Chris Plant, uh, a global gas, they are selling at the same price. But somebody who is selling vegetable, nobody tells you the price. You oh. just look at what the other people, and market force of demand and supply now come in. The, the truth is, if we keep on talking about this 
marketing will not get to the end yeah. because there are a lot of things to talk about. Yes. But I would love us to follow this report uh, made by Caleb's. Viewers of Seven News Television, at this point in time, the rural women are those feeding us. But most of times, they are regarded as the less privileged. Even the goods that they produce or the food that they produce from the farm hardly gets to the market. So, what do they do with them? They look at them as low class citizens. Calix, let me get a report from Calix Gaia. Maïs, coton, arachide, melon, tels sont là le fruit de du labeur des femmes rurales de la région de l'extrême nord. Ces quelques produits ont été exposés ici à l'esplanade de la place de fête de la commune de Méry, située non loin de la ville de Marois, le 15 octobre 2018, par ces valeureuses dames. Ceci à l'occasion de la célébration de la journée à LDD. Cette célébration était présidée par le gouverneur de l'extrême nord, Midi Awabakari. Nous avons vu que des progrès énormes ont été faits dans ce domaine. Les femmes rurales ont aujourd'hui rivalisé l'ardeur avec les hommes. Euh, si nous avons suffisamment euh, des de, de, de nourritures sur nos marchés, c'est effectivement dû au travail de la femme. Et l'état du gouvernement a compris, l'état de soutien à tout point de vue. Bien évidemment, il y a quelques doléances ici et là, mais dans l'ensemble, les populations ont été prises en compte. Et nous les encourageons tout simplement à aller de l'avant. Ces Amazones de la Terre sont d'un apport significatif dans notre économie. C'est fort de ce constat que Aïssa tout graisse les difficultés auxquelles elles sont confrontées au quotidien dans cet arrondissement. On vient de, de, de parler, on fait aussi une salle de, de, de la femme, puisque ici à Méry, nous n'avons pas la salle. Donc une femme, on n'a même pas des activités pour que les femmes se réunissent et font des choses comme ça en dehors pour le travail champêtre là. Il faut dire qu'après les exactions de la cité islamiste Boko Haram, l'activité agricole dans cette région est en nette amélioration. Au cours de cette cérémonie, des foyers à charbon, des râteaux, arrosoirs ont été distribués aux femmes rurales, ceci pour un meilleur accompagnement dans leurs tâches quotidiennes. Thanks, Caleb Sky, for that good report you just made regarding the rural women. It is really a pity that these mothers, they feed us. But most of the times we look down at them. We prefer to go and ask how much is the vegetable. If she says 500 francs, we'll say, I have 200. But when you go to a restaurant, you go and buy a plate of Eru for 5,000 francs, 10,000 francs. Meanwhile, that same arrow came from the woman. You bought her vegetable for 200 francs. Well, who is to be blamed? Not me, not Mr. Peter. Viewers of Seven News Television, if you are just switching on your television set, this is your program, The Experts. Today, we are talking on the role of a marketer in a community. With us this day is Mr. Doom Peter. He's a sales manager of Glocal Gas. Mr. Peter, we're talking about over 15 tons, but we'll not get to that now again. Okay. Because it seems very long. The that tools, we cannot, the tools, we cannot, the marketing we, tools are many. We cannot, we cannot, the marketing strategies are many. We, we, we cannot, have not even gotten to the pricing strategy. We are just forget <laughs> about the pricing strategy. That will, that will come next time. Okay. Marketing seems impossible without communication. And how can a firm effectively communicate its goals? Thank you, Mr. Taka. Now, for, let's, let's get our viewers clarified on, first of all, what is communication? Okay. Now, because in order to delve into communication regarding marketing, marketing. let us understand, first of all, what What's is communication? communication. Communication, simply put, is the dissemination of information from one person who is an encoder to another person who is a decoder, decoder yeah? 
That is communication. That is, and what that is what is known as interpersonal communication. Interpersonal communication. Good. And what do people communicate? Yeah. People communicate and pass across information. information. What then is information? information? Information is processed data. Now, when you go to the field, you pick up data. You maybe you are, you are counting people uh, or, or counting institutions. You want to draw a conclusion and from a sample. You are you are trying to draw or get information, <coughs> information from that raw data. Now, in terms of marketing, there is uh, what marketers have devised as what is known as integrated marketing, marketing. and communication strategy. I told you everything in marketing boils around a strategy, Strategies, yeah. which is unified, integrated, and comprehensive approach used by firms to get their commodities in the marketplace. Now, every company, whatever you are into, you plan with a strategy. So there are several strategies. I just cited the, the four gospels. It's just one of the strategies. There's also the pricing strategy. Now you have asked us to look at the, the, communication. the, the communication strategy. Yeah. Now in communication, for companies to communicate, there are five basic ways by which they communicate. The first is through what is known as public relations. Public relations. Okay. What is public relations? The, uh, most companies uh, uh, relate with their public through the organization of press conferences, symposia, seminars, for example, uh, uh, embassies, embassies in international relations. If you look at the American embassy from time to time, they come out from their offices, they do outdoor events. Oh, that, yeah, that's that is true. what is known as public relations. If you look at some brewery companies, on a daily basis, they are out there. Just even Coast and Crisp plant, sometimes we do outdoor activities. Even the, 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 those who are, are, are selling uh, raw materials, those who are in um, vegetable, uh, I mean the basic food commodities that we buy and sell. You see, from time to time, the Ministry of um, the, the Ministry of Commerce brings them out yeah. around Ron Point Express here. They go and display those things. They do. They, they relate with the public. And then there's also advertisement. Yeah. Is one of the means advertisement on radio, on TV, on newspaper, on the internet. Now it's it's even more 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 advanced. It's more advanced. It's more yeah. advanced with the digital age that people advertise on the internet. There is also a sales promotion. Most companies come up with this sales promotion uh, as a strategy uh, of communication, okay. integrated marketing <clears throat> communication. They say, okay, now if you buy one, you go home with two. Have you ever seen, say, a, a bus, a, a bus st station? Get 10 tickets, you have yeah, one you free, freight, a free trip. Then, then. Okay, okay, yes, uh, you've talked about communication. You see, um, marketing seems to be evolving. Yes. Can you tell us a little bit about marketing, how it evolves? Uh, this topic of marketing is very interesting. Yeah. Now, if you want to look at a little bit about the evolution of marketing, you see that we just had that report about... Uh, our, our parents who are farming vegetables and at the end of the day, they, they lose. In the very early days, marketing used to be done in the way that we knew as trade by butter, yes, whereby so. you had a commodity and you were looking for another commodity and you didn't know who has that commodity you were looking for. Yeah. And so the setup where people used to do exchange, because exchange is part <clears throat> of marketing, That's true. you will come to a, 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 a point a place and you put that commodity there and then you enter into the bush and you are hiding it was a primitive setup and then somebody who has what you are looking for comes and drops it there and then carries your own away mm -hmm. but i always say that there were problems with that kind of setup because it was primitive one there was no quantity you didn't know the quantity, the quantity. of the commodity you wanted to, <clears throat> you to, want pick, to get yeah to exchange you don't know the quality because it's not just quantity there's quality, quality what is the true. quality and what, what are the characteristics of that thing you are picking? So it was a kind of primitive setup. Now it evolved to a point where they realized that trade by butter was very cumbersome as knowledge started increasing, increasing. improving. They started developing calories. Uh, our, our, our elders, our parents, parents in those yeah. yester years, they developed calories where they could exchange with calories and then they go home mm -hmm. with the commodity. Yeah. And then at some point they were even using hot drinks and metals, other metals like gold, silver, and so on, to do exchange. And then after, uh, sometimes, uh, conventional marketing setups started coming up where they developed currencies, like the notes and the coins, with nominal values. They yeah. gave values like 1,000 francs. You, with 1,000 francs, you can go home with a bundle of firewood. With 6,500 francs, you can go home with a, 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 a bunch, bunch of, of gloca yeah. gas. You go home with a bunch of gloca gas, a bunch of plantain. And so, 
they started having those nominal values on currency so that they can tack them now with quantity and the quality of commodities. Okay, thank and you, Mr. Peter. Before we conclude, sir, yeah. you realize that at the end of the day, we have had now digital marketing where you can buy from somebody without seeing the without person, seeing the person. without right. knowing the person. You go on the internet, you place a command, and somebody responds to you. You wire money through a, a, a payment platform like Mobile Money or Jumia and so on. Do, you are on the marketplace. So that is how marketing has evolved. Okay, Mr. Peter, let's follow this report. Viewers of Seven News Television, this report was made by Christian Esimi talking about education in Kong Sambal. La grande errance dont souffre en ce moment l'orientation scolaire au Cameroun est une conséquence d'un système éducatif qui tarde encore à trouver ses repères et son identité. Comment de nos jours articuler dans ce dispositif la participation de l'orientation scolaire pour en faire un levier important sur lequel construire la réussite de demain Voilà la grande question qui se dégage chaque fois lors de la célébration de la journée de l'orientation scolaire sans que solution véritable ne soit apportée. Cette année, une nouvelle fois encore, les conseillers d'orientation du Cameroun profond se sont retrouvés pour discuter, partager et surtout donner de la voix autour de leurs préoccupations, comme cela fut donné de voir ici même en Konsamba, chef lieu du département du Mungo. Un processus éducatif de type continu visant à aider l'élève à choisir lui-même la formation la plus conforme à ses aptitudes, à ses goûts à ses intérêts, à s'y adapter et à résoudre éventuellement ses problèmes comportementaux, ses problèmes psychologiques, ses problèmes personnels, relationnels et sociaux. Ici donc, les problèmes sont les mêmes, les difficultés aussi, telles qu'on l'aura noté au cours d'une cérémonie populaire organisée à l'esplanade du lycée bilingue de Nkonsamba devant l'ensemble des autorités de la ville. Les enseignants sont des gens qui ont été bien formés, nous pouvons compter sur eux. Et quand on est bien formé, on ne peut que faire passer le message pour que ce que vous avez reçu soit pérennisé. Il est question que les différents partenaires de l'école jouent pleinement leur rôle pour redorer l'image de la structure scolaire. L'école étant le lieu par excellence de la socialisation, les élèves doivent être initiés à l'acquisition des valeurs morales. Il ressort de cette célébration que bien articulée, l'orientation scolaire est un gage de succès pour l'élève d'aujourd'hui, citoyen de demain. Quoi de plus normal que d'esquisser quelques pas de danse en signe de triomphe de demain What future awaits our children, our brothers and sisters, after going to school? Christian Ximi, thanks very much. I appreciate that report. When I look at it at times, it makes me cry. Viewers of Seven News Television, this is your program, The Expert, if you are just switching on your television set. We are talking on the role of a marketer in the community. With us this day is Mr. Peter Dome, the sales manager of Local Gas. He's in corporate sales. Mr. Dome, Peter, you are a marketer. How can one become a marketer? Uh, a, a, a little funny, I should say. Yeah. But interesting question. Yeah. Um, Marketing, most people say, is inborn. Your ability to market, right. most people say, is inborn. Inborn because we have a lot of marketers today who are succeeding big time in sales, in companies, because they had originally that quality inside them. And they have developed on the job those qualities and now they are celebrated. They are, they are succeeding. 
But we should not forget that marketing on its own is, is a science. It's a conventional science. And it requires at least some basic education. Now, I was talking about all the definitions by American Marketing Society and so on. Yeah. Because we have gone to school. Now, you need to go to school, get a certification course, maybe even from ordinary levels, you start building a career as a marketer. A marketer, oh, I see. Yes. So, the, it needs you to study. It's, it's not just... It's not, it's not auto mechanics that you can just stay in a garage and tomorrow you, you become... Even auto mechanics, people now go to school to study that. To study that you know cool. about the opportunity industrialization center in Boya. Mm -hmm. People go to school to study and come out with diploma. So to become a celebrated marketer, you need to study. That is what I can say. Let's talk about uh, Coast and Chris plants. Coast and Chris plants. Chris plants. Yes. So, what do they do in Cameroon? Uh, Coast and Chris Plant is a Makin Energy Company. Uh, at the moment, Coast and Chris Plant is under the Aqua Group, the, a Moroccan uh, group. Coast and Chris Plant is involved in packaging and distribution of Gloka gas in Cameroon. Gloka gas is the gas with the yellow cylinders, which is always very filled to the brim because it is filled <laughs> by the, 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 the Coast and Chris Plant itself in their factory in Limbe. It's distributed everywhere, Yaoundé, everywhere. And then we have partners like Neptune, Golfin, and uh, Unix PLC who are working with us. Mm -hmm. And so Coast and Chris Plant, uh, in, in the months ahead, there are many innovations that people will see about Coast and Chris Plant, which I would not like to let out of the back here. And the general manager, Mr. Alu Dries, and the assistant, Mr. Fosso Michael, they are watching even this program now. So you see that Coast and Chris Plant stands tall amongst all the gas companies in Cameroon. <laughs> for you look at our yeah. our gas regulators. Let, let, let me tell you something. <laughs> I will charge you for publicity. Oh yes, Coast and Chris Plant will be coming now, on this program. I will charge you for publicity <laughs> because I did not ask you to come and do publicity of pub. Coast and Chris Plant, Chris Plant will be yeah. coming on Seven News in the weeks ahead for some promotional activities. We we'll talk about promotion in marketing. So Coast and Chris Plant is everywhere. Deeply rooted in this country. You know what? A BSP is your introduction. <laughs> it is filled to the brim. Who told you it's filled to the brim? Oh, Cosan It's tested. Cosan Chris Plant is the only gas cylinder. They have the gas cylinders that are filled. When we say 12.5 kilograms, it's 12.5. Nothing less. I will let the government officials to confirm that, not you, because you are Thank working you. here. Thank you, Mr. Bissot. Okay, thanks very much, uh, Mr. Ndumbe Peter. No, sorry, Mr. Ndum Peter, yeah. right? Not yes. Ndumbe. Ndum Peter. Ndum. Of course, and Chris Plants. Of course, and Chris Plants, the sales manager of uh, local, local gas, gas in Cameroon. You're in corporate sales. Yes. And Yaoundé. now you've, got, you've gone back to school. Yes. Oh, thanks for coming, and I hope next time you accept the invitation to be here with us. The pleasure is mine, Mr. Takan Bisong, and the viewers of uh, Seven News Television, and the, particularly the program expert, who will always be there at your call. Thanks, thanks very much. Viewers of Seven News Television, it's quite a pity that the program, the expert, is coming to an end. It is not Seven News coming to an end, it is just a program drawing its curtains close. May I remind you that for a program to be successful like this, we have orders that you don't see. The cameramen are there. The editors, you know. You got the voice of the reporters. I, just the presenter. May God bless you all. Not forgotten, the one hiding behind and controlling the buttons for you to see the images on your screen. Thanks very much. God bless you and you have a wonderful day as I love you all.